Warning. The following video might contain some uh, materials that may not be suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Does anybody remember the 2022 movie Turning Red? You know, it's a movie when Mei Li is a fit is a 15 year old girl who is torn between being her mother's obedient daughter and the chaos of her youth. As if that were not enough, when she gets too excited, she turns into a big red panda. I love that movie a lot when I was a boy. It's a really good movie. If you there was one deleted scene from the movie that almost ruined my childhood. I was playing on my laptop looking at Pixar's projects from 1995 to 2022. Then I got another mail notification. <coughs> Dear Pixar fan from the United States of America, we would like to show you a deleted draft of the scene from Tony Red. Watch this now. Pixar team. I accepted the notification and I downloaded the file. Its file name was Tony Red. It happened already. Beta.mav. I was quite surprised to see a Pixar file on my computer. The animator who made that draft was the same animator who made that early deleted draft of the Don't Say Surface part from the 2022, 2021 movie film Luca. The first time I was given that file from that anime was when I was given a mail notification about the early deleted draft at the Don't Say Surface part from Luca. So a deleted draft for Tenny Red, huh? I said to myself. I just accepted the file anyway. But before the video played, it had a warning. The following deleted draft of scene of the film Tenny Red you are about to see is not for the weak hearted. The discussion is advised. I got chills down my spine when I read that. Here goes the freakiness again. The scene finally started with mainly saw the red panda maid and enter her room like in the final film. What's happening to me? Mei Li cried. Just then, Jin entered Mei's room. What? What's happened already? asked Jin. Mei stopped crying and turned to her father. What did you say? Mei said, but in a deep, very deep voice. She has Black eyes, red pupils, crying blood, a scar in her eye socket, and blood dripping from her mouth. Jin shocked and ran away from Maze's home. May runs after him, and she starts to run out of her house. However, a familiar figure landed in front of him. It was Tex the THX mascot. He had blood stain all over him. He had both cleavers in his hands, and his eyes were crying blood. Hey there, Jinny. Tex said. What are you going to do to me? Jen asked. Ginny, I'm going to kill you! Tex cooed teasingly. Jen gasped in shock. May then grabbed out of a cleaver hatchet and chainsaw. Tex grabbed out of a chainsaw and a hatchet. Are you ready to die, Jin? Tex asked. Jen shook in fear. Oh my god! I said in shock. I hear the lion was die from the Pixar films. Tex then pressed the button and started to fly into Jin. Tex dragged Jin, flew into the sky as the height of a cruise ship. Do you want to enjoy your fall? Huh? Tex said to Jin. Tex flew out of the roof. Jin screamed and fell to the ground. Millie and Tex grabbed out two chainsaws, two cleavers and, a two, and two hatchets. M May was ready to kill her father, along with Tex. No, please don't hurt me. I'm just your father. Me! No! 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 Jin shouted. They killed Jin with two cleavers, two chainsaws, and two hatchets. Jin screamed in a loud, ear piercing, and blood curdling tone as his voice, Orion Lee, didn't fake, didn't fake sound at all. I cut my ears for this as I went to play the video file again. I see blood on my hands. Oh crap, I muttered. After that, I paused the video and I received a headache. I went outside for five minutes to rest my head and sat on the chair to relax. I even cleaned the blood out of my ears with a tissue. When time was up, I went back to watch the video again. May and Tex laughed evilly. Jen is dead. He had black hollow eyes with crying blood, blood dripping from his mouth, a scar from his eye socket, a blood stain all over his forehead, a blood sticking out of his chest, and his arm was missing. When that already happened, the camera zoomed into their faces, and the people scream can be heard as we zoom into the face. At the moment, it's not back to reality where Jin told his wife. I will take my daughter to the palace with Bing to tell the story about the red pandas, Jin told to Meng and May. The video then ended. After seeing Jane Lee's 
corpse, I started to have an upset stomach. I ran to the bathroom and threw up straight into the toilet. After that, I recorded the file with my tablet and I posted it on YouTube. After that, I deleted the file so no one will have their childhood's ruin. Later that night, I said to have nightmares. One is Red Panda May Lee and text killing me as the same as Jin. Never watch a deleted number before scene that has its taste and creepy stuff. So, um, that was the Turning Red creepy puzzle called It's the deleted, oh, the deleted version of It's Happening Already scene. And it's fine, but there's some problems like, where, where the heck did text of the TXX mascot come from? And how the heck does uh, this, this the, the, read, the writer of this story said that Turning Red is a child, even for that movie came out like a few months ago. And also, another dead corpse cliche, just like the previous Turning Red creepypasta I did. <sighs> What's with these goddamn, uh, these type of creepypastas showing like dead bodies of a, of a cartoon character? Like, <laughs> that, that's getting. It's getting old, you know, after, like, a few times. Even the Madagascar version ending uh, creepy bosses kind of did better to don't show in, like, dead bodies of the characters and, and just, you know, you can't, like, scare people just showing dead bodies. It's just getting old. Just stop it. And also, you know, the whole, like, uh, oh, main character got an evil fame with the whole uh, blood coming out of its mouth, eyes, and has uh, black eyes with red pupils on it, like, yeah, I think that's kind of getting a little bit old, yeah, it's getting get stale, you know, when you read, like, a few creep bosses before this one came out, you know, I might have to, like, check out what other creepypasta, uh, the other creepypasta I think about reading next that uh, pretty much have, like, better writing than this turning red, uh, it's happening already, creepypasta. Even the one with the whole, uh, Dyer Gets Attack one is kind of a bit better. Besides the cliches, you know, like, this, you know, same thing with all, all that writers, you know, the, that, the, per, you know, the, the writer says that movie's childhood is a childhood, even though it came out a few months ago, just like the other one I did. And Dead Buddy Tyler. <sighs> okay. Enough of my, uh, a bit a little bit mixed on this, but I need to like think about anything else for this week on this channel. So yeah. Have a nice day guys and see you for more of these spooky creep puzzles for the summer. So um goodbye.